The guard link on machine interface can bring safety inputs and diagnostic information into a guard logics. 5380 or 5580 safety programmable controller. The subject of today's video is how to use online device discovery to configure GuardLink taps to communicate with the 432 ESIG3 GuardLink interface. Additionally, we'll look at how to use device discovery to troubleshoot I.O. configuration errors. In a previous video, the 432 ESIG3 was added to the GuardLogix I.O. configuration. The next step is to add devices to each GuardLink channel. If the GuardLogix processor is available and all GuardLink devices have been connected and powered up, then device discovery can be used to automatically populate each GuardLink channel. If program development is taking place before hardware is powered up, then the taps are manually added to the I.O. configuration. To add GuardLink taps automatically online, Download the project with the GuardLink interface in the I.O. configuration to the GuardLogix controller. Communications, Who Active, select Controller, Download, Verify Destination and Conditions, Download. Change controller back to Run Mode, Yes. In the event the GuardLink interface has a safety network number mismatch, ownership will need to be reset. In the I.O. configuration, double-click on the GuardLink interface. From the Safety menu, press Reset Ownership. Read the conditions. Continue with Reset of Ownership? Yes. Configured safety network number does not match safety network number in the module. Continue with Reset of Ownership? That is why we are resetting ownership, so yes. Requested message timed out, OK. The module now should be running. Click OK to close the 432 ES module properties. Right click channel 0, select Discover Modules. The taps connected to the guard link channel 0 appear. Verify these match the application configuration. For each discovered tap, Click Create. Type a meaningful name. Although the programmer can use descriptive tag names, choosing a simple naming convention will make future programming easier. Channel 0, Node 0. Click OK. Create new module online? Yes. This step is now repeated for the next node of the channel. When all nodes of the GuardLink channel are completed, click Close. Repeat node discovery and configuration for each guard link channel. The guard link taps are now communicating with the 432 ES IG3 guard link interface. To satisfy the guard link channel status input, the guard link tap configuration in the guard logix IO configuration must match the guard link nodes that are physically connected to the guard link channel. The desired GuardLink topology must be compared to the physical GuardLink taps being detected by the 432 ESIG3. Factory Talk Links displays the GuardLink network. Verify that the GuardLink nodes in Factory Talk Links match the Integrated Architecture Builder or similar GuardLink network diagram. Then proceed to review the GuardLogix I.O. configuration. Let's review two common configuration errors and see how to stop the channel status light from flashing red. For the troubleshooting demonstration, a poorly configured Logix Designer file will be downloaded. The easiest configuration error to recognize is when the node on the physical GuardLink channel does not match the I.O. configuration in GuardLogix. An electronic keying mismatch is indicated with a yellow triangle in the I.O. configuration. To fix an I.O. configuration mismatch, right-click on the mismatch module, select Delete. Delete the module? Yes. Right-click the GuardLink channel, Discover Modules. Now add the node following the module discovery procedure discussed earlier in the video. The channel configuration is now complete. Another common configuration mistake is when nodes on the physical GuardLink channel are present, 
but not in the I.O. configuration in GuardLogix. To add missing nodes to the GuardLogix I.O. configuration, right-click on the GuardLink channel, Discover Modules, and add the missing nodes following the module discovery procedure discussed earlier in the video. The channel configuration is now complete. When the GuardLink module and TAPS are configured, we are ready to review the data that flows between the GuardLink interface and GuardLogix. Data flow is a topic for another video. Thanks for watching, and hey, let's be careful out there.